It is crazy, it is madness. Up in uh, northern Queensland, the new Franklin Dam is taking place. There's a, there's a battle going on between nature and industry, which is every bit as consequential as the Franklin Dam demonstrations in the 1983. That's when, of course, hydroelectricity, ironically, was stopped in its tracks in order to preserve what is a beautiful piece of the world. Far North Queensland is very precious as well. As you know, it's home to the wet tropical forests, which are unique in the world. They are the last surviving remnant of the forests that covered Australia and Antarctica when they were joined together 10 million years ago. There's a proposal in Chalumban Forest to build a massive 86 turbine wind farm. I use the term wind farm ironically, of course, because it's nothing like a farm. It's a great industrial estate. It'll involve clearing native forests an area twice the size of the CBD of Melbourne. 10 square kilometres of land or more will be cleared to make way for these turbines. There'll be more than 100 kilometres of road chopped through what is now native tropical forest. It's the home to the durable people, the people that have lived on that land since way before the time of Jesus Christ and have a strong attach attachment to it. I want to play you a short video now of some conversations I had with durable people so you can see for yourself what this land means to them. Well, we call it Mother Earth. And like a mother looks after, looks after you, so you look after mother, you know? Respect your mother. It's a beautiful country. They're going to put the windmills in there, right along down there. And they want to really rip this whole country up. Nothing good can come out of it. Our people will start to get sick and suffer. Our spirits will suffer because we'll start losing connection. You'll, you'll never, never get this in another lifetime. It's like taking a, 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 a brand, a sort of a dirt of gravel. Well, that's real. You know, that's 45,000, 60,000 years of history. Mm. And they're taking that all up. It's, it's just ridiculous and very cruel to do First Nation people. Cruel. Yeah. Yeah, very cruel. The old people's homes, you know, where they had their babies and buried their old people, where they learnt how to become men and women. place has been disturbed it'll never be the same all I can say is I have hope if I have hope and I hold on to hope I have something not all is lost and then I don't and then I haven't failed my elders in doing the right thing by them they owe us nothing it is up to us and right now we're not doing a really good job. Anthony Albanese says he wants to hear Aboriginal, Aboriginal voices. He wants a voice to Parliament. He needs to hear these voices. Uh.